Hello friends, long time no see. It's time to review Stan's third album, Lost for Words. There we go, Lost for Words. This was a follow up from the Queen's Park album um, in 2007. And there's 11 songs for us to get through and talk about and chat and whatever else. So, let's get to it. So I guess the first thing we need to speak about is the album cover, which um, is uh, Russell, Russell Hardy and, and Sue Hardy's hand, good friends of mine. And, and um, yeah, I just thought it would be a good idea to have a two hands intertwined, intertwined. Uh, as most of this album is about relationships. Um, and I thought it would be cool just to tattoo Stan on, on Russell's knuckles like old school. <laughs> um, yeah, this was recorded at, mostly at Neil's, um, Neil's home studio in Bishop Stalford. Um... But yeah, we kind of turned it up a notch on this album. So the first track is the album track is the album name "Lost for Words," uh, which is a um, a medley. I had this song going around in my head, um, and I'd sit at home and play around on the keyboard and uh, came up with this song and it's actually in three parts so you know it's one song but three parts like I say they all sort of merge together uh, to form a medley uh, I think you know Paul McCartney used to do it quite a bit so um, what's good for him is good for me right um it's a it's a great track and um by this time i had i bought my own eight track recorder so uh it enabled me to you know any ideas that i had i could write them down because quite often i'd have an idea music idea and um by the time i got to neil's house on a sunday i'd forgotten what it is so i thought about best best get serious and uh Get myself a little eight track. It was a, it was a, I think it was called a, a, a boss, a boss ninety, and it was eight tracks and and a, um, and a CD as well. You could bounce it straight onto a CD. So um, yeah, the 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 first the first part of the of the song is is the main main part really, with um, it's quite upbeat. And the second part is a sort of poppy, happy, clappy, um, with a, a, a happy trumpet in there. Um, incidentally, I, I played, I think I played all of the instruments on this song because I'd got it, I'd got it down. I, I, it was just one of them songs that I'd got in my head that, and I, I was, I was, you know, enabled to record it. So I recorded it and, and, um, you know what? What do you call it when you you know when you put all the uh, when you put all the sounds in the right place on your on your headphones? I did the whole lot, um, and I played the trumpet. You know, on the keyboard, <coughs> which for a for a keyboard it sounded okay. I thought, see what you think. Um, and it was like that that happy thumping Paul McCartney trumpet bass boom 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 um piano sort of yeah and then that merged into the third part which is the uh string I think it was like a string quartet this um very classical part that I wrote uh it just all came together really good actually um uh, but but weirdly uh, 
I can't remember which song it was. Uh, a bit later on down the album, I write I wrote a song called Lullaby from the Drive, which was a, a jazz song in three four time. And this was back in MySpace days. I'm going off track a little bit here, but hopefully it'll get back to where we were. <laughs> it was back in MySpace days, and someone heard the track over in the US. It got to number one on MySpace, and he said, "I love this tune. Can I rap over it?" And uh, Neil and I discussed it. It was a bit like, I don't really, I'm not really into rap music, um, and for someone to rap over a, a three, four jazz jazz tune must be quite difficult anyway. Anyway, Neil sort of said, come on, let's do it. You know, we've got nothing to lose if we don't like it. <laughs> Bin it. Uh, so Neil sent the tune off to him and he rapped over it. He sent it back MP3. Uh, but his mate, Blake Erie, Blake Erie, um, he wanted to to rap over another song of ours so we said okay well why don't you rap over this this first track we've got space for it and he did and both of the both of them come out pretty well it's just a kind of little twist on the um whatever it is i was trying to do uh beatles supergrass paul weller um yeah, it works. Um, I do the drums on the drums. The drums improved on this album somewhat. Um, I still do the drums on a keyboard, but manually. You know, and uh, I didn't do no bouncing. I played the whole. You know, I rec recorded the whole drums. Uh, for th like one take if you like it might have taken me a million takes but there was no cut and paste cut and paste so uh, it was it was pretty much uh, it's was, it was pretty hard work but again I think for a keyboard it sounded alright um, what else have I got to tell you um, I'm not going to go through the chords or anything because um, I'll be here all day I've already been speaking for a good eight minutes or whatever uh, have, a have a good listen as usual stick your cans on um, don't listen to it once listen to it twice because there's lots of things that you might miss and um, yeah I'd really appreciate your comments um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this album and sharing it with you and chatting stuff so yeah, enjoy and thank you for listening. See you on the next one, friends. Ta-ra for now. Heartbreak is the highest.
hostage I'm surrounded by lies, truth's the imposter It's preposterous, my feelings seem to control me Thoughts stop at my palate, my mouth won't let me grab at it Inside I know that there are words I can say This predicament makes me feel like I'm on display I'm struggling to capture the right way to tell you I can't even write letters, there's nothing I can melt It's sickening to know that you got me this tongue tied You in for a long ride, waiting for what's inside Nothing else could be so complicated yet simple To communicate with you, I need at least a pencil Take a notebook and get a couple of paragraphs off my words Man, I'm at a loss